Next, let's go ahead and actually create a modal screen that can come ahead, go ahead and come up from the bottom and cover up all of our screens. Now we want this to be available either to our, just our app drawer or the way I like to do it is to make it globally available. And by globally available, what I mean is that anywhere in our application, anywhere below navigation container could go ahead and render some sort of a modal screen from the bottom or to cover up the other screens. So to do this, what I'm going to do is actually create another stack navigator. You can see there's a lot of nesting here. And I'm gonna go ahead and say const root stack and I'll create a new stack navigator. I'm going to call this root stack screen. That's going to be a component once again. And what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and actually, first let's go ahead and define our navigator dot navigator. And then inside of here, I want to basically take all of this logic that we've done, our loading and our user stuff. I'm going to go ahead and place that inside of the root stack navigator. And then I'm going to take all of this stuff here and put it inside of our root stack navigator. This time though, we need to go ahead and make sure we use a root stack dot screen and then assign the appropriate component. So I'll say root stack dot screen. We're going to set the component equal to loading. We're also going to set the name equal to loading. Likewise, we'll do the same down here. Root stack dot screen name is equal to what we've got here. And we'll do the same for the component. And then let's go ahead, render our root stack screen as a child to our navigation container. Uh, we need to actually make sure we return this. So let's go ahead and copy this or cut it rather. Return it. Okay. So now we should see that same behavior we had before, but we're seeing this extra navigation bar at the top. I don't want that because we just need one. So what we can do here is on our root stack navigator, we can just go ahead and set the header mode to none. And now we're seeing it work correctly, but we're seeing a navigation kind of slide in here. Uh, that's not something we want. We want it to just do that hard, hard transition between the different screens. So what we can do is actually set a screen options and we can go ahead and set the animation enabled prop to false. And now when we go through and refresh our app, you can see it's just kind of doing that hard switch that we had before. So we've got the same behavior as we had before. Let's go ahead and actually build our modal now. So to do this, let's first import our modal component import modal from dot dot forward slash screen slash modal. And then if we look over on our action screen, we can actually see we've got an open modal and an open alert button. So what I want to do is actually go to my app drawer screen, go to my app tab screen, go to my, uh, actually, yeah, we want to go here. Basically to make our development easier, I'm going to set our initial screen to this in action. Uh, the actions tab. So I can set initial route name to actions. And now whenever we refresh our app, it's just going to go directly to our actions list, just saving us a couple seconds of time. Okay, back down here. What I want to do is add to my root stack navigator, whoops, root stack navigator dot screen. We want to give a name equal to modal and a component equal to modal. Go ahead and render that. And now let's go to our actions list screen and we can go ahead and pull navigation off of the props. And we can say when we press open modal, let's say navigation.navigate to modal. And let's just see what happens here. So I press this, we can see it's just gonna jump over and we're back to this screen and it's not doing anything. So what we want to do here is to tell our navigator to push this from the bottom. And what we can do is just say that for this entire navigator in general. And to do that, all we have to do is say mode is equal to modal. Now when we press that, we're still not seeing anything. And that's because we've got animations enabled or animations disabled for the entire stack. We can go ahead and override that via options on the specific screen and say animation enabled 
true. And now when we press open modal, we see that slide up from the bottom. To actually close this modal, what we'll do is go to our modal screen. And in here, it's a registered screen, so we can access navigation prop. And all we have to do here is say navigation.pop, which is a stack navigator uh, function we can call to actually go back to the previous screen or pop it off of the stack. So now when I press open modal, it covers up the whole screen. We can press modal and it'll go ahead and close it. And that's how we can quickly and easily build a global mobile, <laughs> global modal to cover up our entire app and it's accessible from anywhere. We could also use it on sign in, sign up, whatever we want. This modal is available anywhere. I'll use these often to just go ahead and render something quickly and easily uh, to cover up the entire screen instead of just text. You could do uh, some sort of children or content and you can render a component inside of there, whatever you need to cover up that screen. And it's not complicated, it's quick, it's easy, and it works with your entire, uh, your entire navigation stack.